I understand. I'm jumping right in, y'all. I understand gang fights is gang fights or whatever. But if you're not a real gangster, then you shouldn't be in gang fights on the internet, off the internet, or anything else. See, you people wonder why I state or whatever, let people fight their own battles. If people would stand back, even if it was their friend and they know that their friend is into it with another individual and they're having a dispute of disliking each other or of, you know, certain different altercation, altercations that they're disputing or going through, you know, they, they're they at odds with one another or whatever. The reason for why I state to let people fight their own battles is it could be much easier for everyone. That way you don't involve a gang of people that's trying to take up for you to try to take up for you and dive right in onto one person unless it's been a dispute between gang members and they're aware of it. And even so then, whatever, if it's two individuals that's in two separate gangs warring with each other and, you know, you guys, they're supposed to have it out or have a fight with one another or whatever, people should just let them fight the battle. They shouldn't even implicate themselves in it. They should just let them fight it out or whatever. And however they may um, need to fight the battle out, let them do so. You don't have to be a part of it. You don't have to speak on it. You don't have to jump in it or whatever because it could help other people it could help from the crime rate being so high of people uh dying or whatever um say for instance you know what i'm saying someone's having a dispute with someone and and on one side their homeboys jump in it and the other person is just there by themselves. Sort of kind of like the King Vaughn situation or whatever. And people jumped in, you know, his friend, Quando Rondo's friend jumped in. And now it's Quando Rondo, uh, Quando Rondo, what's his name? It's his homeboy going to do the time. It's not Quando Rondo. Or whatever, like, um, but the fight was between him and King Von. Like, people don't know the reason for why, but if they search, if they look a little further, search a little deeper, they'll understand the reason why I communicate like I do and I speak like I speak. But as far as whatever, I'm really about to get off of YouTube. I don't give a damn what nobody know about me or whatever. If it wasn't me myself committing an offense or whatever, whatever, because we can have our children, our children anywhere from 18 years old to so forth or whatever. And you've done the best with your child. You've tried to tell them you've, you know what I'm saying? And they just decide to want to, because they get to hearing this crunk ass music that's being a big influence over these children and uh, the music industry and celebrities or whatever that these children that's down in low poverty, poverty uh, communities looking up to these people that's singing this rap music and singing this music and they want to go and be like them and they go they want to go and cop bodies and do things and shoot and kill and all this stuff or whatever, don't come tell me because I'm going to already be fired up. You know, if it's regarding my child, I'm already pissed off as it is. Don't come trying to tell me if, if it's my child or if it's anyone else's child. Don't come trying to dispute a situation 
when the adult is already seeing it from, I'm sure, the same perspective I am. Don't come trying to tell me what the person, the kid have done when the child knew better. You have taught them better. You told them better. And they want to be, you know, influenced over other people that they want to be a follower instead of a leader and let someone lead them to do some things that they quite shouldn't be doing or whatever. And things happen. It could be just like a snap of a finger. Don't come tell me about it because I don't care. I don't care to hear it. Me as a person myself, I know how that is. Me and my sisters and brothers, we lived hard. I'm not going to continue to stress this. Um, and I'm not fighting anyone for, for my actions. I just didn't have guidance. I didn't have my mother or my father there. And surely don't try to put anyone at fault if the child more or less may have been living with their dad or their dad's mother or the grandparents or something of that nature. Even if you're out here on your own, we have choices. If you're 18 years old and above, you know better. People are telling you what to do, things that you should be listening to these adults and not looking at um, the limelight and trying to follow in behind what these illusions that these people are presenting because they can lead you down the wrong road path. I just felt the need that I needed to speak on that. And it is what it is, guys. If you're dealing with someone that, you know, or you feel the need that you want to speak on it, you can because a lot of these young kids are being influenced by someone that have a lot of followers, someone that's popular, someone that's famous, someone, you know, it's a lot of times, some of this stuff is not even coming from the home. These kids are picking up this stuff off of television, off of famous rappers, off of, so you never know where the problem or the issue came from. So don't just necessarily, you can't go for that person's parent. Sometimes, I mean, if the parent wasn't there, they're there or didn't raise that child um, or wasn't just there in that child's life, you can't even fault them for it. They don't know what was going on. They just wasn't there. They was unavailable for the, themselves and their children. So I'm just stating, guys, like I'm saying, you know, People need to fight their own fight, their own battle. That's why I think that they always used to say that even when we were out in the streets, they would say, um, like, Crips ran in a bunch or whatever, but they would call them, like, out of their name, like, dissing them and say that, you know, we would say crab or whatever, whatever, and they would call bloods, they would call them um, slobs. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they would call blood slobs and they would call crips crabs. And you know what I'm saying? They had their own initiations and different things or whatever that they, you, you, you know, you would have to fall under and be initiated under and so forth or whatever. But nevertheless, or whatever, you know, I just feel in that way, period, after I got older and I started looking at things and I was like, hey, you know, it's black on black, you know, they're killing, we're killing each other, you know what I'm saying, if we're even participating in the situation. So, you know, I just started looking at life in a lot, when I started seeing a lot of killings and things of these kids starting in and mainly they would be killing for no reason because they didn't know really basically what they were warring for or whatever. They would be warring over minor situations and things and they would call themselves trying to be gangsters in the streets and so forth or whatever, just wanting to try to create a name for themselves, thinking that that was cool and that that was, you know, the thing to do. But now we're seeing it's not so you know, it, I don't, I don't get down like that. It is what it is. 
is things that have occurred and happened in my life that then, you know, happened in the streets or to do with my families. And, you know, I'm saying it's nothing pleasing about it. It's nothing to be bragging on. It's nothing to be, you know, trying to put it on the forefront or whatever and put it out there. Like other people do that, but I'm not interested or whatever, because it caused me a lot of hurt, loss, and so forth. So I care not to engage with things are, that are happening in that manner or whatever. I don't care if it's from little Nas to being gay, being an influencer and being famous to people copping bodies, uh, women rocking tits and boobs. It's, it's all hurt and pains and insecurities to do within ourselves. Everything that's coming from that whole situation falls under the guideline of having sicknesses. So I care not to engage in any of it. So don't come with, at me with it because I'm going to have something to come back at you with. Like I say, I know a lot of things about a lot of people on the internet that they think I don't know. And these are things that are not... Um, you know, things that I had to go scrape up, dig up. No, God give me a gift. I know deep, dark secrets about people and they're true. And I know that they're true because I've spoken to people too many times and the things that I would be saying about them, they would tell me that they were true. So I'm not going to doubt my intuition now. I know things about you. I don't care what you throw at me. I got things on you to just know that. And it's, I'm going to come right back for you with them. And I'm going to tell you where to get off to. In my point of view, in my opinion, just as well, I do things and try to do them in an appropriate manner. And I use scenarios from my own life to put out about people you know what I'm saying? To not make them feel that they're alone because we can't, we shouldn't be judging when we're trying to help people and this world need healing. So we're trying to go about it in a different manner, but it also still stands. Whatever God is saying out of the Bible, it still stands. And we just have to do what it says to do. We can't be out here free balling. And doing all this stuff and thinking we don't have consequences because we do. Don't come tell me about the consequences that I've tried to teach my kids and I was telling them already because God isn't going to hold me accountable for that. For my daughter, my son, anything to do with my family, whatever, as long as it's not me that have done it. If I've did my best and I've told them and I warned them and I tried to talk to them and treat them and teach and treat them the right and tell them the consequences that I knew of coming from the streets and they didn't listen. They wanted to go be a dummy to a dummy following in behind these other people and engaging in activities that they shouldn't trying to look big and bad for the next man that don't give a damn. That's not going to do that time for you or anything else. And the, it's just then on that. So it is what it is. Guys, I'm just stating people need to stop ganging up on people and on one person. It makes you seem like a coward. That's what I'm saying. Like back in the day, we used to be like Crips run in a bunch. Like and they that little short for Crips or whatever, they would call them crabs or whatever. And like I say, Bloods, they would call them slobs or whatever. I'm talking about slobs. Forgive my pronunciation. Um, slobs or whatever, whatever. And so, you know, but I'm just seeing life in a different way now. And, you know, I care to not engage. It's ignorance because it's killing our people. And I don't want to be a part of it. So y'all do what y'all do. And I'm going to stand over here alone and I don't care what no one know or whatever, because some of them can come with half of the story and don't know the true story. Like I've had like it's people that's on my list that I'm 
about to check in this community right now. And they're going to be looking jaw dropping and funny and all sorts because they went and tried to, and it was almost like they, people will try to make you look bad or whatever. But the thing of it is, is they will go, they'll go tell the story, but not the whole story because they don't be knowing, especially if they wasn't there. And how do you know you was no one that you even knew was around me that knew of this, you just voiced your opinion off of what you thought it looked like and started trash talking me. And I got a lot of news for a lot of people and I am checking them and I'm checking them to their face because it's been enough of it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I want it to be laid to rest and behind me. So therefore I'm going to go to them like adult and I'm going to tell them oh and when you thought because the person came and told me but if a dog you take a bone they'll carry one and you know you guys were just all in my mix not knowing what had happened to me because you didn't know me you was just speaking on me from your point of view you didn't know the whole truth that's why I don't speak on people unless God be have told me and showed me things about people or I know no no or whatever. I'm not just going to go start spreading rumors on you and trying to degrade you and make you look small and under me because I'm intimidated or whatever or insecure. I'm not going to do that. And I have a couple of people that did that to me. And I've been thinking of jumping in their inboxes and like checking them because these are like really some things that I want to speak to them about. And their faces are, they're going to be looking crunch because they went and told a story on me or spoke on me, but it wasn't the truth. And it was almost more or less like they were trying to had gotten in my business, trying to make me look bad or whatever. And whatever they were speaking wasn't even the truth. They didn't even know the whole truth or the story. So anyway, guys, y'all have a blessed day. Um, God bless. I'm just saying People ganging up on people it more or less make you look like a coward. You need to fight your own. If it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, if you guys can't talk it out, dispute it out, do something. Don't be bringing all these people in because it's calling, causing killings, you know, and anyone can react just trying to take up for you or whatever. And it can lead to something greater and bigger and a bigger problem. And that's what kind of like happened with Quando Rondo and um, King Von. And I really just think people need to mind their own business and let people fight their own disputes. That's what I'm saying. Um, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless. Have a great day.